good morning in sairam all the students i welcome you all children i hope during this summer break you all were safe and you all enjoyed your summer break so today in our class we are going to do fruit shedding but this time we will take different fruit so let's start after making rough sketch first i am using dark brown for outline Now after this one by one I will use red, pink and scarlet color. With these three colors, first we are going to complete base. While we are coloring the base, at the same time we have to color the outline. Now after doing the base, we will first mix them. Now here I am using white color. Now after using white color, I am going to mix white and red color slightly with each other. Now with the help of maroon color I will start showing darkness. Now here to show shine in watermelon slice I am using white color. Now again I am using maroon color. Now to show green color I am going to use Persian green, sap green and light green. Now I am going to mix it.
now after applying these colors mix them properly same like red and white i am mixing white and green color slightly with each other now to show detailing i am using maroon color while coloring keep in mind that the color is not too thick now with white color we will show a little shine in between now for shades i am using dark brown black and maroon color to show more dark shade in watermelon we will apply one more layer of maroon color now same like this we will start coloring second slice now after doing the base with the help of maroon color we will start showing darkness now again for seeds we are going to use black dark brown and maroon color for more detailing i am using maroon and scarlet color
Now after shading in both slices our fruit shading is complete. First we will divide the ribbon into equal part here. I am using earbud but you can also use your hand. Now after making a roll of this ribbon we will cut it well. Now after cutting the ribbon into equal part fold the ribbon like this and paste it with glue or glue gun. Now after folding ribbon like this we will fold the remaining ribbons in this way. Now after folding the remaining ribbons we will put them on top of each other like this and then paste it as shown. Now same like this I am going to paste remaining parts also. After pasting ribbon all together it will look something like this. Now here I am using earbud in this I have pasted ribbon and cotton. Now turn it over paste the earbud with glue gun or you can also use glue. Then paste it as shown. Now let it dry for a while after pasting it. Now our flower is complete. You can make many more flower in different colors and use it for decoration.